How much effect can a single city block have on an entire city? Well, if you're talking about El Paso San Jacinto Plaza, a lot. This place is a community gathering spot, a place for art, discourse, and community, which is why it was named one of 2019's Great Places in Texas by the Texas chapter of the American Planning Association. But not just for what it is to El Paso today, but for what it's meant to this city for over 100 years. San Jacinto uh, really is the, the lifeblood of El Paso. You know, it doesn't get much more El Paso than this, right? Oh. A limonado and some border tacos here at the plaza. Now, the park was founded over 100 years ago. And as you can see now, the energy, the spirit, uh, and the friendship of our community is really reflected in the park. It really is the place to be in downtown. So you're really connected to the city being right here. Oh, absolutely. Not just the modern city, but like the city of the past, generations and generations. This plaza has a lot of history. For example, this location itself was the first meeting place between the president of the US and Mexico. And in fact, the hotel right across the street was where President Kennedy stayed during one of his visits in 1963. And, and alligators in El Paso. Tell me a little bit about the history there, because that's kind of mind blowing. It's an amazing story, actually. So alligators were actually in the park starting in the 1880s. We have very cold winters, mm -hmm. and a lot of times the city would have to store uh, the alligators in adjacent buildings or at the zoo. And eventually they were just moved to the zoo full time, right? Yes, they sure were. Um, one of the key elements of expanding this park was to recreate the streetscape from the turn of the century. So as planners, we worked to expand the park by 10 feet on all sides to reflect the original design of the park. And the city worked a lot to preserve a lot of the existing vegetation that had been here for several decades. I mean, this plaza really is like the hub of the city. Over this way, you have the Arts District with all the museums. You have the ballpark where the El Paso Chihuahuas play. Over here, you have the Government District. Then over this way is the Mercado District. I mean, we really are like eight or nine blocks from the Mexico border, which is so cool. And you know, it's not just the plaza, but all the vibrant businesses around the plaza, like the coffee box, coffee from a shipping container. Mmm, boxy. You know you can't come to El Paso without eating Mexican food, right? But this is a little different for me. It's vegan Mexican food. <laughs> Flautas, steak fries. I think it kind of looks like steak at least. Tastes like steak too. Man, this is awesome. So I'm staring out the window at San Jacinto Plaza in this great cocktail bar having a cilantro jalapeno margarita, which is sort of unexpectedly high class and yet still so El Paso. Mm. I see why people like this plaza so much. You would hope that every city would have a plaza just like this, just so it sort of be a community gathering spot. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. We're really proud of how the design of the park came out. Cheers, man. Cheers. Cheers.